Hi, I'm Shalee Super, your guide to world-class outdoors with Outside Yellowstone. underfoot is a satisfying sound. Enjoy the serene winter landscapes and silence that only comes with winter in Park County, Wyoming. Today we will be exploring three trails that branch off from Pahaska Teepee, 50 miles west of Cody. Snowshoeing is a popular winter activity that has been around for thousands of years. It is both a necessity and an adventure, depending on where you live. One of the best places to snowshoe in Park County is near Pahaska, Wyoming. Here, trails and backcountry wilderness entice adventure seekers of all kinds. The Park County Nordic Ski Association grooms and maintains all of the trails with memberships and donations from the public. If you use the area, consider making a donation so that the trails can stay open and well maintained. Hi, I'm Susie Smith and I've had a little bit of experience with snowshoeing. I have coached the USA snowshoe team for Special Olympics in years past. And honestly, if you can walk, you can snowshoe. The Park County Nordic Ski Association plays an important role in these trails here. They groom and they maintain all the trails in the area. They also have fundraisers and are supported through donations. The road from Pahaska to the east entrance of Yellowstone Park is an ideal trail to snowshoe for those new to the area or snowshoeing. It is three miles of groomed snow that follows the road, providing a wide, well-populated trail. This is also the only trail on which you can bring your four-legged friends. Be courteous of Nordic skiers and stay off the compressed ski tracks and to keep dogs off them as well. Those who wish for a little more adventure can take the Middle Fork Trail from Pahaska, then join on this trail to Yellowstone. Check a trail map for more information. Although there are a few small inclines, this trail is relatively easy. Just make sure to pack enough water as it is an up and back trail. On your way to Yellowstone, photo opportunities are abound. And when you get to the east gate of Yellowstone, you don't have to stop there. You can actually snowshoe into the Yellowstone National Park. Just make sure to allow yourself enough time for the return. Snowshoeing equipment is pretty minimal. All you need is a pair of snowshoes that you could either rent or purchase. The main thing is to have waterproof boots and some outer layers that you can shed so you're gonna get really warm. It's a good workout. Have eye protection and sunscreen and a warm hat, gloves. The longest trail in the area, Moose Flats, traverses north from the Pahaska Teepee parking lot, past the lodge once owned by Buffalo Bill Cody and a warming hut. This 3.5 kilometer trail skirts a stream before heading back off toward an old barn. With many side trails and areas to explore, the Moose Flats trail varies a bit more in elevation than the road trail. Keep the trail in sight while you break some snow and explore off-trail areas. This trail is more forested, and those seeking even more adventure can access the Crow Creek Backcountry Trail from the northern end of the trail. The Moose Flats Trail also joins the Race Park Trail, used by competitive Nordic ski teams in the area. Snowshoeing safety involves hydration, letting people know where you're going if you're by yourself, but it would be best to travel in numbers. There is an etiquette for snowshoeing here in Park County. You are allowed to snowshoe on the groomed cross-country trails, but please stay out of the groomed tracks for the cross-country skiers. Traveling south from the Pahaska Teepee parking lot, snowshoers can access the Outlaw Trail. Much shorter, at only 0.9 kilometers, this trail connects to many other areas, making the adventure opportunities endless. To reach the Outlaw Trail, cross the highway and head down a steep incline toward the Shoshone River. Head toward the southeast on parts of the Middle Fork and Sleeping Giant Trails, crossing the bridge to the start of the Outlaw Trail. This short loop is well worth the trip for its scenic beauty. Running parallel to the Middle Fork Trail, the Outlaw Trail is more isolated and runs through more densely forested areas. The mountains towering above you are home to deer, sheep, moose, elk, and other wildlife. If you see wildlife, make sure to leave enough room between you and them for safety reasons. And when you are looking out for wildlife, look around you and up in the air in the mountains. My favorite trail in this area is to get off of the groom trails and to really use your snowshoes for what they're designed for in the deep snow. So I like to go up on the hillsides or down by the river and explore some other areas where more remotely where people usually don't go. 
What sets snowshoeing apart from other Rocky Mountain locations is that we, our accessibility. We have so many areas here that we can access on our snowshoes in a safe way. For a fun snowshoeing adventure, make sure you wear plenty of layers and pack plenty of water and snacks. And when you're enjoying the magnificent Shoshone National Forest, be sure to leave no trace, pack in, and pack out. Snowshoeing is the perfect adventure for toddlers and seniors and anybody looking to enjoy winter in Park County, Wyoming. Join us on all of our adventures on Outside Yellowstone. Click subscribe, and if you have a question, leave a comment.